Let's bring in Sean Duffy, former Wisconsin congressman and a Fox News contributor. Sean, I hope you and Rachel and the kids had a great Thanksgiving. Let's jump right into this because Christina just mentioned what Minority Leader McCarthy had to say about possible hearings. Take a listen. Here is what he said on that Codell Down to El Paso. And after January 3rd, no longer will members have to come down to the border to tour. We will hold our hearings at the border so the Democrats can no longer hide from the crisis they have created. What do you think, Sean? Does that make uh, sense? Is that a good idea to do that? What will that accomplish? So first off, Griff, uh, to the Jenkins family, uh, uh, happy Thanksgiving. Um, and to all those uh, watching, I hope you all ate a lot of turkey and pie. Listen, so uh, Kevin McCarthy's right. So first, take a step back. When, when members of Congress do things they like, they've got money for a new bridge, a new road, there's a policy that makes their communities better, they actually show up and do ribbon cuttings. They love those policies and be associated with those policies. You look at an open southern border, Democrats are nowhere to be found, right? They, 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 they've opened the border. You have streams of people. People coming across, which you know all too well because you spend so much time down there, Griff. But Democrats don't want to draw attention to it. They don't want to have a ribbon, ribbon cutting at the border to show all the people they've let into our country without, you know, vetting or without, you know, permission. Um, they've, they, they've excluded from their trips going to the southern border because they don't want Americans to see it. That's why you, um, you're one of the only reporters down at the southern border. You don't see other networks at the southern border as well. So Kevin McCarthy is doing the right thing by saying, you know what? If you don't want to come, members of Congress and the Democrat Party, what we're going to do is we're going to actually move our hearings out of the House and we're going to bring them down to the southern border. So if you want to show up for hearings, you're going to come down and see what South Texas and South Arizona has been seeing for the last two years of this administration, what a crisis this border is. And I think this is really smart of, this, uh, of the potential speaker, leader right now, McCarthy, to make that play and make sure Democrats actually have to be confronted with the problem that they've created. You're right, Sean, that this administration certainly has a nothing to see here approach. Here, let me show you. Let's compare some Octobers. We just had an unprecedented, record breaking October fiscal year 23, over 230,000 compared to last year's, which was the highest on record, 164. And then you go back to 21 and 20, and you can see how much those numbers are diminishing. I just put out some information uh, last week. There's more than 134,000 known gotaways. We're averaging 2,693. Three. And so ultimately, uh, there, there's a strong case to be made uh, by many that uh, Mayorkas has failed his job. But, but how does this work? You were in Congress. Can they actually impeach the guy if he won't resign? Because it doesn't look like he's going to go anywhere. Yeah, no, he's not going to go anywhere. So, yeah, I, I, they, they can impeach. Of, of course they can. Um, but uh, that happens in the House, the impeachment. But the removal proceedings happen in the Senate. And you're not going to get a Democrat Senate to go along with in the, the removal of Mayorkas. So it might be somewhat performative. But I think what's important here, Griff, is drawing attention of the, of the American people to what's happening at the southern border. Unless you're a Fox News watcher and a Griff Jenkins fan or a Bill Malusian <laughs> fan, you don't actually see what's happening at the southern border. If you're watching these other networks or these other cable channels, you don't actually grasp the seriousness of this issue. And so the drawing of, of attention of the American eye to the southern border and other news networks to the southern border is, is going to be really beneficial in trying to get the administration to change policy or to change um, the head of uh, DHS, which is Mayorkas. So I think that's positive. But you mentioned a year ago, Griff, those numbers were outrageous. It was a crisis last year. And we're 65,000 more in October this year. And you talk about the gotaways. When people come across, as you know, they're turning themselves into Border Patrol. They're trying to find Border Patrol. If you're a gotaway, there's something in your history, something in your past, or something that you want to do in America that you don't want the Border Patrol to find you. You're not, you have nefarious purposes. Maybe you're a drug smuggler, you're a murderer, you're a sex trafficker, you're a terrorist. But there's a reason why you don't want to be caught. Those are staggering numbers of gotaways yeah. that don't want to be caught by Border Patrol because they want to do us harm. Um, this these, is a crisis completely. And good for Kevin McCarthy. It, and these numbers are even going to go higher when Title 42 goes away. Quickly, in the last uh, 30 seconds or so I've got left, I do want to ask you about one thing, and that is Elon Musk getting a lot of attention, tweeting about he's teasing, really, that he may give us some insight into the suppression of the Hunter Biden laptop story from the New York Post, putting out uh, a poll as well that, that he, you know, may in, indeed okay. get that uh, public. So we have some transparency. He says, obviously, this is necessary to restore the public trust. Your thoughts? 
Yeah, listen, I think this is uh, fantastic. You, you look at this and go, was was this really disinformation, the New York Post story on Hunter Biden, or was this Russian disinformation? Or did Twitter actually know, Griff, that this was strictly a straight shot of politics? We're trying to protect Joe Biden. We want to blunt Donald Trump. We want to hide this story. Um, I think to release what Twitter did will give us some insight as to what role maybe the FBI had in pushing Twitter. But also, the, the decisions of Twitter might also come into play of what happened at Facebook. Facebook and what happened at Google, I think the American people have a right to know on what these big tech companies were doing to limit the information we had about candidates as we made a decision in 2020. Because if we can fix what happened in 2020, maybe we can fix what happens in 2024 so we have all the information out there as voters on what the candidates have done and who they are and maybe what bad things they've done with their family to make money off the vice presidency through their family. And transparency is the name of the game. Sean Duffy, yes, thank is. you for getting up after Thanksgiving dinner and joining us today. <laughs> Thanks, right. Griff. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilney. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.